हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द यूनिट वन एंड इन दिस यूनिट वन वी विल फाइंड दैट व्हाट आर द व्हाट इज एक्चुअली एडवांस एम्बेडेड सिस्टम एंड वी विल गो थ्रू द इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम्बेडेड सिस्टम्स एंड वी विल फाइंड दैट हाउ द इंट्रो एम्बेडेड सिस्टम वर्क्स एक्चुअली and what are the characteristics of embedded system what are the features of the embedded system so we will find all these things so in the unit 1 we have uh, the uh, part of the syllabus discussion in this part we will find the introduction to embedded system and embedded system in this unit we will find the difference between the embedded system and general purpose computing system okay so definitely there are so many differences in embedded system and general computing systems and we will find that uh, how these two things to refer actually okay next we will find the history of embedded system and uh, what is the history of embedded system actually and the what is their classification what are the application area of the embedded systems and typically embedded systems what are the characteristics and unit and quality attributes of embedded systems so this is our totally unit 1 so actually embedded system is something which is which belongs to the software as well as the hardware okay so uh, when whenever we need uh, to embed a small technology in a bigger system then uh, then it is known as embedded system fine so for example if we have uh, the uh, you can say a fire alarm okay so fire alarm does a simple task that just find that whether the uh, fire fire exist over there or not okay fire existing in this logically in geographical in a particular geographical area or not so this is the uh, this is one kind of embedded system we will find many type of embedded system so we will find the what is what is the hardware and software requirement for the embedded system how the embedded system programming does okay so here you can find some examples of embedded system there is a handheld uh, gps unit and uh, in this gps unit you can find the some area and uh, you can have the navigation so these all things are possible in the in the handheld gps unit one uh telematic system which is known as uh, which is also known as uh basically uh, you can say in uh, our cars uh, there is a music system and this uh, this music system is also known as a simple embedded system which have which embedded into a automobile uh car okay in robotics control the embedded system also plays a very great important and great role so you can find that there is a insect type of thing and it is it is a one type of robot and this robot works actually works with a uh, this is a spider robot and it works on with a lego midstorm components and uh, it is also a embedded system type of thing okay so smart toys are over there and the smart toys also enrolls some embedded system parts so you can find some actuators and the controlling circuit this is the actuator you can find here that this is actuator box actually and here is the electronic part which controls this actuators and there is also some uh, movement part which is which is needed in this small toy truck dog and uh, this is a smart and uh, you can talk with this dog and this uh, dog behaves with a behaves like a simple dog uh, with who is uh, which you can see in your home and uh, definitely we need a very great programming for this type of the robotic system so the defense uh, uh, systems also has this type of application for example cruise missile so this cruise guidance um, missile guidance system also has a great role of the embedded system so you can find a different sections of a b c d e and f so all these parts works actually according to the uh, guidance of the embedded system 
okay so here you find a car where lot of embedded system box actually and here you can find that there are so many things which uh, uh, which is embedded in a car and uh, it works with the with this type of embedded system and uh, all these embedded system are collectively work actually in a automobile industry and this auto and these automobiles uh, uh, basically controls each and everything so embedded system has its role in every nearly all type of area of the life so what is the definition of this so any sort of device which includes a programmable computer but itself is not intended to be general purpose computer so what is the general purpose computer actually so your pc personal computer is a general purpose computer because you can do all the work with this computer with this computing system you can do the text editing you can do the graphical editing you can do each and anything and you can do everything which which is possible by just inserting a particular software in it okay so that is a general purpose computing but in the embedded system you need a simple computing system and uh, you will have you uh, you can provide a simple uh, you can say simple input and simple output means you will you may need only a simple button and uh, for the input uh, or some sensor input and in output you may need a simple relay simple led so this type of uh, uh, things happens in a embedded system so embedded system is computer inside a product so in a simple language you can see a computer inside a product is your embedded system so there are some examples of the different type of systems where a computer can be exhibit so computer systems are everywhere and you can find that in in your life in your daily life that in every system in uh, in, uh, in near uh, about you your mobile phone your uh, wrist watch your you can say uh, wall wall clock so everywhere home automation so everywhere there is a embedded system use of embedded system so you can see the computing system so where these is all these systems are the uh, basically uh, you can say general purpose systems and these systems are not the embedded systems so uh, it is a difference between do these two things okay you today i will suggest you students that to find the difference between the embedded system and general purpose systems and there you can find uh, four to five points where you which you can write in a, on your computer on your uh, exam paper if you get this question that write the difference between embedded system and uh, general purpose systems okay so so this was the general purpose computing so where you find uh, some personal computers laptops mainframe servers this type of uh, computing is general purpose computing in embedded system computing you will have the computing system embedded within a electronic devices okay so hard to define it is it cannot be defined easily and uh, nearly any computing system other than com desktop computer is the embedded system so billion of units uh, produced yearly versus millions of desktop units so okay and perhaps 50 per household and 50 and per automobile has the embedded systems so you can find your yeah, this is the short list of the embedded system where you can find anti-lock brakes and uh, auto focus cameras automatic teller machines these all the application are all these all things are belongs to the applications of the embedded system you can find that you can see the pictures also that all these things are, are exhibits with the embedded systems technology so how many do we use average middle class american has 40 to 50 embedded processor in it okay microwave washer dryer dish washer tv vcr stereo stereo hair dryer coffee maker 
remote control humidifier so all these things belongs with the embedded system type of things luxury cars have more than 60 embedded systems brakes steering and uh, okay so windows locks uh, ignition dashboard so all these things are belongs to the embedded system personal computer have more over 10 embedded system processors graphics accelerator mouse and keyboard hard drive so these all things you can find that in a big system there are small small embedded comp uh, computing system which are known as embedded systems so these are the type of the embedded system so it is a uh, general computing simple uh, application similar to desktop computing but in it but in an embedded package video games set of box variable computers automatic tellers so these are all the general purpose computing and these are these are the type of this is a type of embedded system control system control system closed loop feedback control is a real time in system on vehicle car, engine signal processing data stream radar sonar video compress communication and networking switching and and information transmission telephone system internet so all these things belongs to the embedded system part <clears throat> so this is also types of embedded system two different main applications areas of embedded system product product automation and product production automation so product automation has the product examples automotive electronics avionics and uh, health care systems these are the examples of product automation production automation manufacturing control chemical process control logistics so these are all the in production uh, production automation so we have the user we have embedding system and embedded system and we have the environment so it is a very basic block diagram of the embedded system so it works in two basically two main application areas and it is product automation and production automation okay so uh, they are designed to observe through sensors and control something through uh, actuators air conditioning senses room temperatures and maintains it at the same via thermostats so embedded system blocks are these there are these are the embedded system blocks control outputs observes input and memory motor light temperature sensor all these things are the embedded system so some more types of embedded systems are embedded processors are there computation microprocessors and uh, it is 32 bit and 64 bit embedded general purpose computers which has 32 bit microcontrollers for uh, which, which are 4 to 8, 4 to 16 bits domain specific pro processors which can be designed for a particular pu purpose so these are all the types of embedded processors okay so in my next lecture i will tell you the history of embedded system and uh, how does it works so thank you for this lecture if you have any problem if you have any issue you can talk to me thank you